Today we are going to learn how you can make any icon, in a glass morphism effect. If you don't know what is glass morphism, let me tell you in short. Basically, it's an effect that makes an object or shape look like it's frosted glass. It is the new trend of 2021. In the last year, the trend was new morphism. But due to some laggings on user experience that doesn't hold up pretty well. But glass morphism seems to fill up those lagging. If you follow me then you will know that I have already made a tutorial on how to make new morphism as well as a full free stream pack on that design style. You can check the link for the pack and video in the description box below. Without wasting any more time let's learn how to easily make glass morphism icon in Photoshop. Yo! What's up beautiful people, it's Instant Man here. If you are new to this channel, hey! Welcome to my channel. Let me introduce myself in 7 seconds. I make tutorials on design and animation. Besides this, I release freebies for content creators just like you. Currently on a mission to help as many small streamers, content creators as I can with my freebies. Wanna join, and motivate me, consider subscribing and slap that bell icon. It's free by the way. Enjoy! First, of all in Photoshop, go to the file and create a new canvas. We will be using 512 by 512 dimensions and 300 resolution. So that once we make it bigger it doesn't lose quality dramatically. Now, go to flaticon.com to find the icon. Flaticon is my most favorite site for getting a free icon. I will also provide the link in the description box below. I will make this searching part in time lapse, not to bore you. But here is a pro tip. If you want to have the best look of glass morphism, icon with a gradient or with multiple colors works best. So try to find that kind of icon. All right, we will be using this icon for this tutorial. Resize it as per your likings. Also, make sure the icon is converted into a smart object. Because then you can change icons very easily. Delete the background by unlocking and pressing delete on your keyboard. Make a new layer, by clicking the plus icon. Then make a new solid color layer and make it white. You are free to use any color. And rename it as background. Lock this layer, to prevent any accidental move. Duplicate the icon layer, by pressing Ctrl plus J for Windows, or Option plus J for Mac. Select the top layer and go to filter from the top bar. Add a Gaussian blur effect. And as you can see your icon got a blurry look. It will be your glass effect. Try to play around with settings. But for me, a 1.5 to 3.5 radius works best. So, to make a card or box that will have the glass morphic effects, make a rounded rectangle. Select the rectangle tool and right click, then select the rounded rectangle tool. For color, I am using a light grayish color so that we can see the box more clearly. Place the shape layer in between the two icons layer. After that, select the top layer and right click. Then choose create clipping mask. What it will do, that the blurry effect will only be happening inside the box that we have created. That's the magic of clipping mask. Now, we are in the advanced customizations part. For that double click the box layer, to reveal layer styles. From there copy my settings. In an easy word, we will be adding a thin stroke, so that we can see this box more clearly. You can either use a simple solid color or gradient color. Then add a color overlay, to set the opacity effect. And at last add a simple drop shadow, to make it looks floating. Hey! Sorry for the pause. If you enjoying this video so far, 
A like will be appreciated for me and a sub will make my day. Thanks so much if you do. Also, if you want to support me, you can buy me a coffee and it will keep me active to make more videos as well as freebies. The link is in the description box below. Let's continue. Okay, so we have finished the process. Now you can select the box layer, then press Ctrl plus T, to enable the transform tool, and now you can move the shape anywhere you want. And the effect will always stay there. But you may see a problem when you change the background color. It will always remain the shape color. To fix that you can simply choose the shape color as your background color, the make it darker or lighter, to see which one matches best. Let's add some texture. To do that, again go to filter and choose add noise. Keep the value somewhere right there and you're ready to go. It will give this design a little bit of texture, and in my opinion, it looks awesome. From here, you can do further adjustments to your requirements. To change the icon, you can simply double-click the paper icon on the smart object, and it will open a new tab. Here you can simply drop your new icon. and delete the current one. After that press Ctrl plus S to save this, then go back to the main tab, and you can see that the icon has changed. You must save the replaced icon otherwise you will not see the changes in the actual canvas. As we can see, we have successfully changed the icon within few clicks. Now you can again move the box shape, make it smaller or bigger, even you can change the corner radius as well. If you want to add any kind of effects into the icon, you can simply double click the page icon, and then you can do further adjustments. And once you save them you can see the changes in the main tab. Once you are done you can select all the layers and convert them into a smart object. So that you can make the layers organized and in the future, you can do changes by clicking the page icon. But remember you may need to change the box color somewhere between the background color to avoid weird color situation. So, that's the end of today's video. Hope you have learned something new. Want to learn more don't forget to subscribe. Also check out instantman.com, as well my channel for more freebies and helpful tutorials. I will catch you in the next one. Till then, take care. Stay creative. Keep creating. Peace.